implementing data level security in Power BI. In the last video, we talked about how you give access to CEO for all the data while create roles for US, UK, and India managers to access only those data sets. Now, this is how we are going to implement. We are going to create roles in Power BI desktop and then move these roles or publish these roles onto the cloud and then assign members. So let's see the implementation. Please see the previous video to understand the types of security. I just gave you a brief uh, set on what we are going to do. So let's implement data level, row level security in Power BI. So as I explained earlier, consider a scenario wherein you need to restrict data at a country level. Now let's see the implementation. Now open the Power BI dashboard or the desk desktop, which we have been using multiple times in the previous set of videos and download the template files from this location. If you want those files, download it from here. Now create a new sheet and drag and drop customer country and sales. So this is what we have been using and uh, create a new sheet and from the customer table get the country and from the sales table get the sales. Now for now I don't need the map so I'm going to convert this into a bar chart and then you have sales by country. Now we need to implement security in such a way that UK, US and India are only accessed by this or the data for UK, US and India are only accessed by the permission or the roles. So go to the modeling tab and click on the manage roles. And then create a role country UK. So let's see how to do that. Go here, go to modeling tab on the top go to manage roles, click on manage roles and then click on roles create and I'm going to name the role as country UK then select the customer because the country column is in customer table go to this dot say add filter and then say customer country now it says a filter customer country you would say U K now you can copy this expression create another one country US paste that expression which you copied and then create another role country India and then paste the expression change the expression once done this is a validate I should have done that for all so validate and validate once done click on save and you will see nothing will happen. The reason nothing will happen is because this security will get activated when you publish it onto the Power BI portal. So, how to test the security on Power BI desktop? So let's see what the steps we did and then I'm gonna show you how the test, how to test the security in the desktop itself. So create a DAX calculation which we did for UK and then similarly create roles for US and India countries. We already did. We used the DAX as well. And then use the view roles option to validate the security. Yes, by now, by now you would have realized that there is a button known as view as roles under modeling next to the manage roles. View as roles. If you click on that, it will ask you what role do you want to test and say let's say I want to test country UK and click on OK you would see that only UK data is showing now let's see what happens to the other sheets so if you go to main dashboard you would see that only the country 
UK is shown here, see UK. If you go to city wise analysis, only UK. If you go to details tab as well, uh, make sure you have no filters here. Obviously, there's a product type filter, remove that. There is no filter here. Everything is UK. Every single record is shown for UK. Go to cost profit analysis, you would see it's all UK. So now let's try this role for US. Again, validate that it's all US and then so the security is applicable to each and every sheet without really telling uh, any like sheet wise that what kind of security I need. So this is a very good uh, platform or option to create groups and validate. Now if you want to revert back you can click on this stop viewing or you can say none. So none means stop viewing. Now the roles have been created. Now let me publish the roles onto or publish this onto the, the Power BI service. So you would say publish and you have to save the, no, let me do one thing. Let me just uh, publish this in our next video. Time for, time for some hands on. So please for, feel free to pause the video and understand what we have done because hands on exercises are coming and there are going to be two hands on exercises number 34 number 35 uh, download the template files from this location which is the Google Drive location you have been using use the KPI traffic light chart which we did in the previous set of videos and then create security on country as we sh did for in the video now the next is you use a different version or different copy of the PBIX file and then create security on product categories. So what I mean is uh, you go in here and you have product table. In the product you have product category and the values of product category are beauty, cell and laptop. So you are now mimicking a scenario wherein people or the managers have access to only beauty line of products like cosmetics or cell cellulars or laptops so based on product category I want to divide the data or slice and dice the data and then finally view the use the view role option to validate the security I hope this is uh, a very interesting topic security in any of the project. I hope this makes sense and in the next video we are going to publish this and I'm going to show you how to assign security. Till then, thank you.